You weren't shaking your head in disgust. Uh, you know, just a little bit. All just right. a little bit of disgust. But we'll, you know. We'll, I get it from AJ. I we'll should get see it how this goes. All right. We'll see how this goes. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming at this time, Prince Gabriel. One of your favorite. He is yeah. my best of the West, West Coast champion. He shouldn't be. Big fan favorite here. One of the most popular West Coast champions of all time. Yeah. And also one of the fastest rising stars in California today. Picking up a lot of first time bookings for him in the coming months here. Prince Daniel making a name for himself and also for the best of the West School as one of the most successful graduates of the Best of the West Training Academy in the last few years. He does know what he's doing in the ring, and he looks great. I love the outfit. White and gold, can't go wrong with that. All right, who's he got? And now, who will answer the open challenge? Weird. Is it you? Is that why you're out here? Uh, you know, not quite ready not to come quite? back All yet, right. but real soon. Oh boy. The complete opposite of a fan uh, favorite. Yeah. One of the most hated men. In Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wrestling mat, weighing in tonight at 175 pounds. He is the king of two counts, Alonzo Alvarez. Wait, 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 I'm confused. And introducing the third competitor from Watkins Porter, weighing in tonight at 195 pounds. Oh, wait a minute. This is a Not really open championship for the bell match. Here. You know, these two men, ever since the West Coast Championship was won by Prince Gabriel, these two men have been working together, even in the fatal four-way match for the title. A lot of teamwork from these guys. Wow. Prince Gabriel might be in a handicap match of sorts here. But in that case, only one man could leave with the championship. That's true. And if I have my, uh, I, if I know what I'm saying, that Prince Gabriel doesn't have to get pinned, right? No, not at all. Wow. I mean, technically, if these two were really on the same page, right. they could just pin each other and leave with the belt. But I don't think Diageo no, no, is the no, kind no of man way. who would play second fiddle. And I don't think Alonzo would either. Nope, I don't think so. That's I think their strategy will be to neutralize Prince Gabriel and then fight it out amongst each other. Not working so well so far. Prince what, Gabriel, what, not what, much of a high flyer. Yeah, Looking what is like this? he's gonna go for a flyer. Oh! Stop before he could go for it. Still not a high flyer. Wow! Alonzo in with the springboard elbow drop, a through the middle senton. Wait, let's see. Is he gonna let him? I okay. see. Well, yeah. Already. That's gonna break down real quick. Yeah, I was gonna say I knew this would happen, but I didn't think it would happen in the first minute here. Right. Oh, double knees to Prince Gabriel. And the Eddie Munster chants have filled the arena, and Biagio may never escape no. this chant. No matter how long that mullet grows. Yeah, he's trying to change his you look can tell. here, you can see that you... but the crowd is not going to accept it. Wow. The amateur shooter, Alonzo, with a beautiful German suplex, always impressive. Ever since Vinny Wasco was signed to WWE and left, leaving Alonzo as a single That's wrestler true. and not a tag team competitor, he is very wow. impressive. Back to back suplexes here, looking like they're trying to one up each other. Yeah, that, that doesn't ever work well either. 
Ooh. Crowd here firmly behind Prince Gabriel. But you know, sometimes when you get cocky and you make an open challenge, it See? comes around to haunt you. Uh, yeah, I, I'm sure Prince Gable was not expecting two people to answer at the same time. And not two people working together. Right, right. Wow. Top rope swant on bomb. Wait, now who's going to win? Double pin. I don't even know what would be the outcome I would have to have another that. match. Cut the belt in half. Diageo gets it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They, they would have figured it out. Prince Gabriel, except for at the very start of the match here, has not been able to come out of the box. Wow, I mean, difficult task playing against uh, a loaded field here. They had a little flurry of offense before they were able to cut him down, and they've been firmly in control. Watch out. Prince Gabriel avoiding that. Sends the oh! That's not going to help the looks of Eddie Munster no. at all. And oh, right oh, back into time. the nether regions again. Alonzo uh, might be walking a little funny. Yeah. The mount. Not the Saturday night Alonzo was hoping for. Sling blade. Another wow. sling blade. Gabriel building up that momentum here. And he's got to keep on the attack. Any no. moment the guy he's not focused on could be getting up to get him. Just like right, look, are you kidding me? The strength of Prince Gabriel. Wow. A fall away slam, Samoan drop combination. Took a lot out of Prince Gabriel himself though. Did he learn that one in training? Who's gonna take that awful, those poor kids in training taking those kind of slams? Prince Gabriel, what a maneuver. Oh, look at this. Prince Gabriel, one of the assistant trainers at Best of the West, helping train the next generation of professional wrestlers here in Fresno, California. And again, the crowd here look loves sure the do. hometown boy. Huge forearm from Alonzo. Nope. Oh, Prince Gabriel with a shot. Biagio setting up. Oh! Super kick German suplex. Look out. Oh! Bottom rope didn't hold Diageo. Still got a good leg on him. Oh, see. There we go. Selfish. This is where the problem is. He has an only child. I never had to deal with this, so I, I can't relate to what's happening right now. Never had to share. Wow! Uh oh, watch out. Oh, kicks for everybody from Prince Gabriel. And Seguri's wow. all around, but one back from Biagio. Prince Gabriel's still on his feet, but staggered. Might have got more hair than head. Watch out. Holy smokes. Oh, springboard That's gotta be spinning it. flatliner. That's very, gotta be it. very innovative from Biagio. You get the alarm ready for this one. We might have a new champion. Alonzo's there. Look Alonzo's there. Look Gets that. All right. And these guys are mostly on the same page, but again, neither one of these guys is Until there's be, a pin. be the sidekick. Right, Both of no. these men see themselves as the leader of this team and the eventual winner. Right. So is it easier to go into a triple threat match without a friendship? You know, on, on your side, because it always just ends like this. What do you think? Have you you've been in triple threats? You know, it never wow. works out when two men say, "Hey, I'm gonna let you." Win. Right. There's always right. an ulterior motive, and sometimes that distraction, like we're seeing now, ends up backfiring on who you were expecting to double team and exactly. keep down. That makes sense. That makes sense. Wait a minute, these two. Look at that. First they were pulling each other up with their hands, now, now it's, oh! Double spear. All three men are down now, though. Prince Gabriel up quick. Uh-oh. No way. Prince Gabriel, again, like I said earlier, not noted for his high-flying abilities, but maybe he's trying to add uh -oh. some tricks to his arsenal, but oh, Biagio, oh, for two, too Prince. quick. Sometimes oh. it's best to stick to what you know. Yeah, tell me about it. I hate trying new things. 
Oh, Prince Gabriel, you are not in a good spot with these two. This is not going to end well. And Prince Gabriel is in trouble here as both men are going up top. We may see a double. Oh, look no. out. Oh, boy. Trouble in paradise. It's broken down between yeah. these two. Prince Gabriel falling back into the ring himself. Oh. 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 Wait a minute, wait a minute. No way. Got it! You know, and that, that was the smartest thing Prince Gabriel could have done. Oh, yeah. He was not going to get a definitive victory here. He had to try and steal one and run. He's good at stealing championships. Taking advantage of the two men being two caught up with each other wow. and not the champion and Prince Gabriel walks out of here still champion wow. even with the cards stacked against him. Pretty good showing Prince Gabriel. Whatever. And I don't think these two are going to be friends anymore. Well, tough break for Alonzo and Biagio. They thought they had a game plan. They thought they had a two-on-one advantage, but they got distracted from the goal of taking the title away. Prince Gabriel steals a quick victory. One, two, three. Still your champion today, the West Coast champion. Prince Gabriel, let's send it back to Davey Dangerously and get on to the next contest. Get on with it, Davey. Following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is a no disqualification match. Official in charge of this contest, referee DC Brown. DC is one of the more popular the officials here. In, uh, I don't know how that's West. possible. Yeah, I do not like Reed Matthews here lately, so DC. Former Wastelander Looks like drags now. Oh boy. Introducing first from the Wasteland, weighing tonight at 145 pounds. This is Draxon. Draxon. Draxon, who was one of the early Best of the West students, oh, was yeah. part of the Wastelander faction, along with Atticus Link and the Executioner, yeah! has found himself a man alone after the COVID pandemic. Coming back to Best of the West several shows after our return, but he has been undefeated wow. since he has returned. Pretty good. Very tenacious for a man of his stature. Very aggressive. That jacket looks like it's been defeated a few times, though. And one of the newest graduates of the Best of the West Academy here, Wild Blue Carl, is on this guy's nuts. His opponent from the San Jose Basin, wearing tonight at 145. Just get out of there, Davey. He's wild. The feral child, Wild Luke Carlin, a master of parkour, very agile, very quick. And tonight, he is all business after suffering two defeats in a row against Draxon under dubious circumstances. Tonight, there are no rules. There are no disqualifications. Look out. And these two clearly don't like each other. Oh, this has went on for months. Yeah. Watch out. Wild Lou had a Look very out, hot uglies. start to his wrestling career. Has found himself stalled since Draxon has returned. Draxon not looking so good. Worse than usual. Watch out, here comes Wild Lou. Draxon, oh, look out. Oh, where'd you pull that out from? Been Draxon the whole knew time. the rules of the game early. Wow. And he may have smashed that kendo stick under the ring before the show began. Smart. And we are going to the no oh. disqualification aspect of this match early. 
can be as wild as you want. That's still going to leave a mark. Look out. Look out. Oh! That driving him into that ring post with authority. The corner of it. Wild Lou might have caught the back of his head on that post as well. Oh boy. This might be a quick one. 0 for 3. We're going back into the ring here. Jackson going corner to corner here. Wow. wow. Look at the elbow up. Look at this. Boom. Push boot. Wow. Vicious double axe handle taking Draxon down. Wild Lou recovered well from those kendo shots. Uh oh, wide open. Oh. Hard chop against the chest. And the sickos here at the Best of the West Studios want violence. Of course it, they do. It is Fresno. Good lord. Short arm clothing wow. almost takes his head off. That should be enough for their appetite for violence right there. Yeah. Almost decapitating Wild Lou. Ooh. Also, that new gear of Wild Lou here tonight. Looks very, great. Very flashy. Looks oh, yeah. Fantastic. Draxon obviously has a different sense of style, yes. to say the very least. You could say that. Look out. Oh, Over no, no, no. Neck breaker while Lou reverses. Duck. Ducks the clothesline. Oh. oh. Power slam. Not something you see from the small wild Lou. Wow. Normally a very aerial uh, offense, but tonight. Oh, no. Pulling out all the stops here. Well, that's what you're going to have to do in a no DQ match. Do everything you can. He wants to break that streak. Draxon stopping him there. Wow. Oh. Almost a version of a Northern Lights. Didn't have the arm hook, but grabbed the legs instead. And had That's the good. bridge. Sorry, Draxon. This referee counts slow. Oh. Kick right to the ribs of Wild Lou. Draxon putting a boot into his chest. Another nasty kick in those, what I assume, look like steel-toed boots, which oh, here comes the Kendo. Legal. But it is an ODQ match, so well, yeah, I guess... Load them up. <laughs> load them up. Well, these oh, fans God. wanted violence, and I believe they are going to get it. Oh, my God. Enough with the stick. Oh! Oh, Wild Lou looked a little more tame after a shot with a Kendo stick. Oh, wow, right on the hand. Driving it right there into the palm of the hand wow. there. Very, very painful. You can just submit. I, that that works too, I guess. While they're holding his wrist, bent in a very unnatural fashion. Look out. Oh, what is Another that, number shot. five? All to Wild Lou as well. Yeah. Wild Lou has been able to hit offense, but oh. all of the new DQ offense has been from Draxon. Big chop. Down goes the kendo stick. This could be Wild Lou's chance to take advantage. Here's a choke, looks like. Wild Lou holding on with some sort of a choke hold on Draxon just to maybe slow him down a bit. Oh, well, guess it didn't work. Draxon regaining control here. That kendo stick is still right there in play in the ring for anybody to use. Not anymore. Not anymore. Kicked his own weapon out. Corner to corner, here comes Draxon. Swing and a miss. Ooh, going for that giant flying knee he utilizes. Yeah. Fairly Watch out. out. Oh. Wild Lou taking advantage of the fact that he is not completely outsized in this match as usual with a yeah. huge turning spine buster Looked on good. Draxon. Looked real good. Keeping uh, Draxon down for a minute or two with that. Oh, is he looking for that? Oh, the, Wild Lou. The fans informing him of where that kendo stick went, and Wild Lou is Don't let going those idiots tell you to what get to a do. little bit of revenge here. Oh, no. Put it down, Wild Lou. You don't want to get into it with this. Wild Lou has pretty much always played by the rules since he started here several months ago. Maybe that's but, why he keeps losing. But he's had enough, it seems, and it might be back. That's going to leave a mark. The low blow and the kendo stick went flying. Draxon able to avoid it again, and Wild Lou is holding the family jewels in agony. Yeah. No what, little Wild Lou's running around anytime soon. Sorry, Dad. 
little Drax oh, in no. here. Heads up, Draxon. Look at this. Oh no! What I tell him? Rebounded kendo stick shot to the head. Wow! A flat liner. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. While Lou was actually under the arm of Draxon there, even though he had hit the flat liner, DC Brown saw it and went for the Wait count. Wow, Lou's got a, some sort of Looking joke. for some kind of submission. Look at that. Pulling it tighter with his legs cinched around him. What it has him heck? in some kind of choke. Very interesting. Not not sure exactly what to call this. Using the legs to hold him in place. Wait a minute. Oh, uh, Wild, Wild Lou choking the life out of Draxon one more time. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, wait, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. Draxon is out. Choked him out. Broke the losing streak. Wild Louis. We have not seen a submission out of Wild Blue yet. Well, usually a very aerial offense, but I think he wanted a definitive end to this feud to move on. And after losing two in a row, Wild Blue gets it back together and puts an end to the undefeated streak of Draxon since his return. Wow.